So we're gonna look at a couple different types of uh, BVM. This is the Mercury Medical Infant BVM. And then this one is by Laridol. It's called uh, The Bag. They're both 180 ml single hand squeeze volumes. Um, if I had to pick right now which one I would use, it would definitely be this one. It comes more set for resuscitation. This one looks like it is, um, I don't know, like probably like for CPR classes or something um, because it doesn't have a spot for a peep valve. It doesn't have a spot for a manometer. And I think if you want those things, there's probably this additional little piece you can buy. But anytime you have to put together Lego pieces uh, to, to use a BVM, it's probably not gonna be something that you're gonna be able to do in like the event of uh, a resuscitation. So um, I'm gonna put this one aside. There's one thing I do like better about this one than the, uh, the Mercury Medical one. And uh, I'll tell you what that is here in just a second. So let's take a look at this. So we have uh, the bag here, right? This is a self-inflating bag is what they call it. And over here, you can see it's already got the attachment for a peep valve. So I don't have to put anything else on except the peep valve. And uh, the ones from Boundtree, which I'm trying to get a hold of one and I'll, I'll do a review of that one. The ones from Boundtree already come with the peep valve on like this. So you'd have to actually take it off if you didn't want peep. And that's an important point. Like if you wanted zero of peep, which you know I'm not sure why, but if you wanted zero, if it was like an asthmatic or something, like a, a baby asthmatic, the only way to get zero is not to take this until it doesn't turn anymore, it's to actually just pull this off. But during the pre-oxygenation period, you're gonna want that, uh, you're gonna want that on. And at least at five, I would say. Now, right up here, this bag is gonna come with a manometer. It's got a nice spot here. So if you take this cap off, I can take the manometer and it sits right into here. So you can see, I'll put it right up to the camera. It sits right up in that little spot there. This is super nice. You want a manometer, God, especially when it comes to, uh, to infants, you wanna be controlling that amount of pressure. Now you can see if I, if I occlude this here, as I squeeze the bag, you're gonna see a certain amount of pressure, right? You see the little needle flipping back and forth there? Now, this right here is a pop-off valve. This is set to 40 centimeters of water of pressure. So if I occlude this, you're gonna see that this thing pops off and doesn't allow me to get up to 40 of pressure. You, you can even hear it. And so you may wonder like, why would you ever build a bar to hold this down? Well, sometimes during neonatal resuscitation, you need higher pressure. Um, maybe the baby was premature. You have a high uh, air surface tension because they don't have surfactant. And the P in the Mr. SOPA troubleshooting ventilation acronym is pressure. So you may need to apply more pressure in order to see that chest elevate. We know that's our ultimate goal. We wanna see that chest rise. So you could either hold this down and give a couple breaths or you could actually put this up. And then now I can deliver higher than 40 centimeters of water of pressure. Now, if we come over to this side of the bag, this is the thing that I don't really like. I'm not too crazy about corrugated tubing as my uh, reservoir bag. I would much rather what, what we have on this Laridol bag. This is an actual reservoir bag here. And the, the point of this is this is gonna fill with oxygen, right? This is what's coming off of my oxygen tree. It's gonna fill up. And then I'm gonna squeeze the bag. I'm going to deliver the breath. And then when I let go, the bag is gonna inflate with the oxygen from this bag. Now, if you look at this one, as oxygen comes in here, as it's flowing in, it's gonna go into this corrugated tubing. Now, this bag is only 180 mLs with one squeeze, so obviously you're not gonna squeeze the whole thing. Um, but the thing I don't really like about this is the visual cue. So if I'm using this bag, I'm gonna be watching for this to be inflated and probably changing in volume as I'm bagging. If I have this one, I can't even tell that the oxygen is on, right? It's not really gonna change anything. And so in the middle of a resuscitation, if I have some uh, 
auditory exclusion. We know that like that's normally one of the first things to go is your hearing when you're stressed out. I'm not gonna hear that regulator maybe. And then it's really, I'm not gonna have the visual cue either. So I would much rather have this off and then have the reservoir bag on here instead. Now the oxygen tubing, if you're looking for uh, something that uh, is beneficial with oxygen tubing, find one that has, I'm just gonna pull this out. Find one that has both. It can go on the Christmas tree if you need it to, but it can also screw right onto the actual oxygen source. So those little Christmas tree things are single patient use now in some hospitals. I don't know. I don't know if that's the case in the ambulances, but somebody may have forgotten to put one on. And if you need oxygen right away, this is a nice little fail safe because you can do either. It's a really nice design. You can either go straight to the oxygen source or you can actually just uh, put this over the, uh, the Christmas tree. So this is super beneficial. Now, when you are pre-oxygenating, you want to be really, really careful. Oh, my little manometer fell out. You want to be careful not to give too much pressure and that's really where this is going to come in handy um, it's been said that the esophageal sphincter um, especially in kids it doesn't have a lot of tone and it it can pop open when you start getting up near 20 25 centimeters of water of pressure so if you're ventilating a kid in the pre-ox period you want to make sure that you're not really driving home these breaths because you're gonna pop open that esophageal sphincter, and then what that's gonna do is cause gastric insufflation, and your risk of having an aspiration event uh, go up drastically. So as soon as I finished up the video on the last two BBMs, I got this in the mail from Boundtree. This is the Curaplex BBM, and I am convinced this is probably the best BBM out there. I'm gonna show you why. This is this is really cool. I'll start with like my favorite feature. This is where the oxygen connects to the BBM. You cannot pull this off. And so many times when uh, you're bagging and everybody's running around the recess room or in the ambulance, um, this gets pulled off because you got a tight area and you gotta keep putting it back on. You can't do that with this one. This one actually screws on. If I want to take this off, I got to actually like undo it and screw it. It's based off of this little uh, screw thing here. And so if I put it back on like that, you're not going to be able to peel this thing off. So that is brilliant. I love that they have this, this feature on here. This end also has the dual adapter to where you could go on like a Christmas tree or you could actually screw this on. And like seeing this part with the screw and then this part as well, I almost feel like it would be better to take the Christmas tree off, just secure it on one end to the actual source and then it's secured on this end to the BBM. So uh, strong work here, Plex. That is, that's uh, brilliant and I'd like to see something similar to this for suction catheters, because a lot of times you're suctioning and the suction uh, tubing comes off of the catheter. So this same technology, why don't we do that to the uh, Ducanto catheter or something to prevent that from falling off. All right, this also has the reservoir bag so I can actually see visual indication that I have oxygen flowing into it. And then this pop-off valve is set to 25. So if you remember the uh, other two, one was 40, one was 35. I think 25 is probably the best, right? Because that lower esophageal sphincter is probably gonna pop open around that 20 to 25 mark. And so you don't, even if you weren't paying attention to the manometer, which I haven't even started on how much I love that this is built in, um, you would still not give too much pressure. That would still pop open for you. And then once you have an advanced airway in, if you needed more pressure, uh, then you can just put this little uh, plunger thing inside here. And it does say on here now, it says uh, pressure high. So that way it's indicating that, hey, this is, this is uh, now 
the stop or the pop off valve is closed and then you have to go off of the manometer. But I like that it just starts off at 25. That's a uh, really nice feature. Now the manometer, you saw in the last one, the manometer kind of fell out. Um, I don't know if they always would do that, but this one definitely is not. Like this one is, this is sturdy. This isn't going anywhere. It's built into the actual BVM, which super cool, strong work uh, with that. Cause now I don't have to worry about attaching it or losing it or falling off. Now the, uh, the peep attachment right here is super cool. This has the ability to take either the small diameter peep valves or if you know maybe somebody didn't restock the one that you needed and they're like hey I have this peep valve you can easily just put this one on as well so it can take any size peep valve and you can just attach it um, I would love to see these just already attached and that they don't come off but you can't get this peep valve to go down to zero the only way to get it down to zero is to actually just just take it off the entire BVM so I get that it's like a safety concern thing so um, this is the peep valve that comes with it. This is nice. I like it. It's kind of a smaller form factor, but you know, if some clown forgets to restock your bag and uh, maybe somebody else that you're uh, on scene with has one of these, uh, th these are nice. You can just pop that right on and get the same effect from it. So I love that. Uh, the mask that comes with this, um, if it is deflated from sitting in the bag or if it's inflated too much, um, you can adjust the, uh, the volume in here with a syringe. So that is uh, super cool. I like that as well. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this bad boy in, uh, in simulation. And um, I think that this is probably the, the best BBM built for resuscitation.